Like, why am I feeling this way? Did I have high expectations? Was I over ambitious? Did I miss something? Um, what, what role did I play in feeling like this? What mistakes did I do to, to, to um, end up in this situation that is making me to feel like this? There is so much power in that. See, the pain that you feel is the pain that you can heal. Hi guys, you welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Kuda Melisson Pinyani and I am so excited to announce to you that we are having um, a new series. Actually comment down what you think this series should be titled as um i'll just explain the concept to you i'll basically be sitting down on my mat and getting personal <laughs> um it's just going to be a space where we can heal together grow together um accept our mistakes and reassess our lives again right so it this will obviously require me to share my own personal experiences um, and be authentic with you i believe there are two types of content creators there are content creators who are there to entertain us and there is room and there's a place for that as well as content creators who are there to show their audience that it's okay it's normal to be going through this and in fact how about i shed some light about this and share some lessons with you so that you don't have to go through it the way i went through it right yeah so that's basically what this is all going to be about let's get into the video <laughs> right so i've been going through a very um interesting season in my life i believe we go through different seasons in life and it is wise for you to recognize where you are what you need to do so that you can get through it the right way so that you can qualify for the next level of your life um you know that transitioning period after letting go of someone letting go of something special to you it may be letting go of a dream a vision and letting go of hopes that you so invested in um it can get really awkward it can get lonely because you're already used to living life with with that person you are used to living life with with i don't, I don't know that job you know living for that dream and losing it or letting go of it can feel so uncomfortable it can get confusing like it's just like what's what's next now you have to literally break down every hope kill every hope you had in you and start afresh and ask again for a new direction from god and i just wanted to share with you some things because i feel like um you know as youth during this time we like to rush through things we we like to rush through uncover uncomfortable times in our lives we don't allow ourselves to feel it to learn from it and just get everything we can get from that season one of the mistakes that we like to do is not give ourselves um the time to feel the emotions in that season you know um being vulnerable or, or feeling your emotions has always been deemed by society to be weakness even in the christian community some people may come out and say it's being carnal but something that i've really learned is that emotions are there for a reason we shouldn't rush to fight them we shouldn't rush to distract ourselves from feeling it now the problem is when we allow emotions to dictate what we do next because whatever circumstance you are in you always have a choice on how you're going to respond to it but you can allow us yourself to feel it to feel the pain to ask yourself questions in that moment like why am i feeling this way did i have high expectations was i over ambitious 
did I miss something? Um, what, what role did I play in feeling like this? What mistakes did I do to, to, to um, end up in this situation that is making me to feel like this? There is so much power in that. See, the pain that you feel is the pain that you can heal. So don't distract yourself with things that temporarily numb the pain. Give yourself time to absorb all the lessons you can get through that time. Allow yourself to feel it, right? And I think one thing that we have to learn, especially as Christian, is to learn to run to God in those moments. It's not weakness. Listen, even in the Bible, God had feelings. God felt angry in, at some point. He felt pleased with some things. So it's not bad, right? In that moment where it gets overwhelming, we need to allow ourselves to, to run to God and say, God, help me understand this situation. God is not put off by your struggles. God is not intimidated by the magnitude of your pain he stands ready to help you he stands ready to comfort and to heal you and that is one lie that the devil likes to whisper to us that we told king your situation is just too deep you can't get out of this the pain is just too much you will never let go of this you will never forget this right but in that moment where you just surrender the the pain god god just gives you so much wisdom besides the love and the warmth and the comfort you really get to learn a lot of things man you get to discover yourself you get to discover a new passion a, 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 like just something so refreshing about life in the process not immediately this takes time you know and i think while going through that we also have to allow, allow ourselves ultimately to to release it you know the other time i was reading something and it, it was basically um it was it was written that um you can only get something new on your hand if your hand is free right if your your hand is still um, occupied with something that is old you can get something that is new you can get a new gift right so you need to ultimately understand that um you are an um, you 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 have to allow yourself to be an empty vessel so that you can be filled with the grace the love the lessons the goodness that can catapult you to the next level in your life you can actually release it you can let go of it it is possible to go through some things that made you feel a certain way but still go like you know what i have healed and i'm willing to go through it again like it's possible to to love like you've never been hurt before it's possible to fight back like you've never been beaten down before <laughs> you know and I just think that there is so much beauty in that, you know, in being alone in that process and, and, you know, spending time with your emotions, your thoughts, and literally building up strength within, you know. And that is just what I wanted to share with you today, that, listen, what you're going through is just a season. It's not a sentence. This too shall pass now feel it learn from it and ultimately release it and you just be shocked i'm also waiting to get shocked with what god is about to do next in my life <laughs> yeah um i hope you really learned a lot from this if this blessed you please definitely comment share it with someone it may bless someone like this video so that it can reach many other people i'd really be blessed by that it is it is well